Um, if water gets out, uh, besides deteriorating the package, uh, which happens um, rapidly, uh, if it's shipped in the winter time or if it's on an airplane, it can blow the boiler, which is a much probably a much bigger repair than it was being shipped in for. If that was was the case. Okay. Using residue-free tape, uh, if you can, secure all of the parts that could move, such as drip trays, um, various parts. Anything on the super autos that can have doors that pop out, um, you want to secure all that stuff. I notice you don't have your um, porta filter in there. I don't have the porta filter in. There. Okay, so you would want to take that out as well separate, before separate parts. Um, you want to take that out, bubble wrap them okay. if possible, so and stick them uh, in a place where they will be secure. Usually, right here is good mm -hmm. for the porta filter and stuff for a, a view of Venezia. Okay. Once everything is secure, drop it in a plastic bag. That will keep any packing material out of it. It'll also, if there's any residual water. It'll keep that contained as well, so it won't uh, you know, deteriorate the packaging in the box and just make an overall mess. So, if you want to find a, a box that's you know gives you a couple inches. The wiggle room around. Mm -hmm. um, this is a good size box for this size machine. Um, also, notice the difference in the composition of the box. That is a single wall. Okay. Uh, if you're packing this into a, a bigger box, that's okay. Mm -hmm. If this is your only box that you're shipping it in, uh, you're going to want it to be a double wall box, such as this. Okay. It's much more protection, much more stable, rigid. Okay, got it. So <clears throat> double wall if I'm using only one total box, but yes. if I'm going to do a box in a box, then single wall is yes. fine. Yes, this guy, we're going to use a, a single single wall box and okay. put that into a double wall. Um, if you just have a double wall box, that, that can be okay for a smaller machine. Okay. And I'm going to show you the best way to do it. If you have access to a shipping store, Mm -hmm. and we can afford to have them professionally pack it uh, using Instapacks or blown foam. That's the best option you can, you can use. Okay. Um, this molds around the machine, so it's not going to move at all. Um, but if you don't, but if you don't and you're kind of DIY. Uh, yeah. Then Packing peanuts are the way to go. Um, some so. people use wadded up paper. Uh, that's that's an option. It's not. It's by. It's far from the best. Yeah. So packing peanuts, you can find many places. The machine to sit on in its bag. And again, there's quite a few inches of space around the entire machine. Mm -hmm. So I just want to fill in with yep. more peanuts. Once you've got it in there and the space all around it, fill it in almost to the top. We're a little bit over and then you've got room and the peanuts to push around it on all sides. So that's going to be pretty good. We're going to fill it all the way to the top. And you want it to be uh, puffed up a little bit. If you're pushing in the box and it's it's going in inside the box, mm -hmm. fill it up with a few more peanuts. It can be uh, pushing up against it a little okay. bit. And that's perfect. <laughs> Ideally, find a bigger box. Mm -hmm. We're going to need a bigger box. <laughs> Get a small little bit of peanuts in the bottom. And kind of level it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Drop this guy right in there. And 
even if it's flush up against the other box, that's still better protection. Yeah, because, you know, the shipping guys are not as tender and loving with your boxes as you might want them to be. Some of them are. <laughs> Some of them are, yeah. You're going to want to mark, mark the box. Uh, if you're sending it back to us for repair mm -hmm. or uh, return, get your order number and your RA or RMA number on okay. the box. Um, along with our address. <laughs> and, and then marking like fragile or something? Yeah, that's, that, was, that was the next little bit. Okay. Especially if it's one of the heavier machines. Um, if you, you can write fragile, we've got the stickers here. Get them on any surface that they might see. If, you know, if it's mm -hmm. only on one side and they don't see it, just, just make sure that it's as visible as it can be. Okay. Oh. Anything else for shipping a smaller machine? Buy insurance. As buy you insurance. Said. Okay. That's the last step. Uh, accidents and damage does happen in transit, and buy insurance is your best bet. Cool. So. All right. Thank you very much, Spencer. Thank you.